Okay, in this video we're going to talk about finding a quadratic function um, if we're given the vertex and we're given a point um, it passes through. So let's see what we need to know to be able to do that. So first of all, you need to know um, what the equation looks like. So we're going to use y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. And I'm kind of color coding things here, so a, h, and k are going to be in different colors as we go through. Um, the second thing from that equation, you need to be able to identify that the vertex of the quadratic is the ordered pair h comma k. Um, and then the third thing we need to be able to do is we need to be able to solve for a, and we're going to use the given point to do that. And so the first step is usually going to be substitution into the equation, so you definitely need to know the equation. Um, the second step is going to be to simplify some things, then we're going to substitute, then we're going to solve for a, and then we'll write the equation. So let's take a look at an example. So we want to find the equation of quadratic given that the vertex is 5, negative 3, and it passes through the point 7, 1. So what I do on these problems, I mean, it's already written on this particular page, but in general, when I solve these problems, I first write down the equation that I'm going to use. So it's y equals a, the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Um, one of the things people screw up sometimes, you have to remember it's x minus h squared. Um, because when you substitute in there, you have to make sure that you're writing x minus whatever the number is. So let's um, first substitute in. So we're just going to substitute the value. So y equals a x minus, and then h we know from the vertex is 5, because that's the x coordinate of the vertex, then quantity squared plus, and then the y coordinate of the vertex is k, so it's going to be um, the quantity negative 3. There's a little bit of stuff we can simplify here. Not really, but uh, we can change that plus negative into just minus 3. Okay, now at this point, we want to substitute in so that we can solve for a. So we're going to use this point, 7, 1, and we're going to replace y with 1, and we're going to replace x with 7. So 1 equals a, the quantity. Um, x is going to be 7 minus 5 squared minus 3. And here we have a little cleaning up to do. 7 minus 5 is 2 and then 2 squared is 4, so this becomes a times 4 minus 3. Now I can add 3 to both sides and get that 4a is equal to 4. I uh, divide by 4 and I get that a is equal to 1. Since a is equal to 1, we don't usually write that, so then our equation will look like y equals the quantity x minus 5 squared and then minus 3. Okay, I'm going to do one more example because once you get really good at this, uh, they don't change, so if you've memorized the formula, if you understand what h and k are, and then you just know how to solve for a, you pretty much know how to do these every time. So let's do one more example and make sure that's true. So the vertex of this thing is going to be negative 7, 8, um, and then the point it goes through is going to be 4, 27. Okay, so just like I said with the last one, I like to start these by writing out the formula or the equation that I'm going to use. So y equals a, the quantity x minus h squared, and then plus k. And now we're going to substitute in the vertex, so we've got to be really careful when we do this. So I'm going to put the value of h, I'm going to put in parentheses, so I'm going to put uh, a, the quantity x, minus the quantity negative 7, and then that's going to be squared, and then plus uh, the value of k in this case is just 8. So here we can simplify a little bit, so instead of minus negative, I'm going to write plus 7, and we still have that. Now at this point, we need to solve for a, so we look up and we know 427 is the ordered pair we're going to use. So we're going to substitute uh, 4 in for x, and we're going to substitute 27 in for y. So it's 27 is a, 4 plus 7, quantity squared, and then plus 8. 4 plus 7 is 11, um, and I'm also I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. So 27 minus 8 is 19, so I'm going to get 19 equals a times the quantity 11 squared, and then I know 11 squared is 121, so 121 times a is equal to 19. So from there I now know that a is 19 over 121, and if I know that I can write my final equation. So it's going to be y equals the value of a, the quantity x minus h, which became x plus 7 squared, and then plus 8. Okay, so that's how we can work with a vertex and a point. You really just need to know that form that we're going to use. So y equals a, the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Make sure you have that memorized, and you should be fine. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.